say, old pal Joe D here. It's Monday, the 13th of uh, January. Nice day in Missouri today. You hear that music in the background? That's Elvis. All shook up, baby. 1957 today is the day that that was recorded. Very cool. Love Elvis. Can't beat the king, baby. That's all there is to it. No matter how you cut it. The guy's popular. He's popular 30-something years after he's dead. Anyway, wanted to touch base with you today. Going to be a short show tonight. I'm busy in one on paper hanging, heading out to, to uh, St. Louis tomorrow. And uh, I'll be coming to you live from the Archway of the Midwest. So uh, I'll talk to you then. But for now, let's look at what happened today in history. Uh, today, 1942, Henry Ford came up with a plastic car, same weight. Obviously didn't work out. There was still plenty of iron. I think they're still made of metal, aren't they? Or are they? I don't know. Uh, 1957, Whammo begins the Pluto Platter, otherwise known as the Frisbee. Pretty cool. Made a bazillion dollars a piece of a chunk of plastic. Um, Wayne Gretzky, 1984. Scoring streak extended to 45 games. The guy was phenomenal. Uh, Japan, 1992. <laughs> Look at this, very nice of them. They apologized to Korea for enslaving and making Korean women sex slaves, hundreds of thousands of them, during World War II. Pretty nice of them, huh? About 50 years later to apologize. Man, brutal what happens. But anyway, uh, Michael Jordan, 1999. Uh, he retired, or announced his retirement from the NBA. And I don't know if that was... The first time or the second time, but whatever. And then for my liberal friends, 2002 George Bush, that's W, uh, was choking on a pretzel and fainted. I'm sure you wish he choked to death, but uh, we won't go there. And as I said in music, 57 Elvis, he uh, recorded All Shook Up. Uh, 1973 was the beginning of a comeback tour for Eric Clapton. Guy's been smoking for 40 years ever since. Um, 1976, Descartes Records employees filed suit. Um, I guess they were bilking the, uh, the artists for about $200,000 of royalty. So remember, like I was telling you, promoters and wrestling, you know, sales, anything where you get paid after the fact, you can get stiffed. So, you know, it doesn't happen that much, but it can happen. So when you're in these kind of, precarious businesses, you better watch yourself. 78, the police begin recording, uh, actually they debut their album, I shouldn't say begin recording, yeah, no, they did. They began recording the debut album, uh, Roxanne, remember Eddie Murphy in 48 Hours, so uh, that was that. And here's a pretty funny one, the YMCA filed suit against the village people for singing the YMCA. They dropped it because then they realized, I guess later on, that uh, but the village people really brought a lot of a lot of attention to the YMCA. Good or bad, I don't know, but publicity don't hurt either way, I guess. And in 1980, uh, uh, there was a, uh, uh, a big benefit concert. Uh, and in it, a very uh, uh, cool lineup here. The Grateful Dead, Beach Boys, and Jefferson Starship. Would like to have been a fly on that wall. Uh, birthdays today, 1919, Robert Stack. Always played a cop, I always liked Robert Stack. Charles Nelson Riley, <laughs> oh, 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 remember him? He was on uh, Hollywood Squares and Ghost of Mrs. Muir and all kinds of stuff. And he uh, he was born in '31. And then Elaine Bennis, do you know who that is? Elaine Bennis, Julia Louis Dreyfus, 1961. Elaine Bennis from uh, uh, Seinfeld, uh, great comedian. Gee, she and she's still smoking along today. Here's the words of wisdom from your old pal Cadillac Joe D. And don't get mad, Missouri people. Missourians, as I should say. Fellow Missourians, I guess now. I'm, I've been here long enough. I guess I'm a Midwest guy like the rest of them. <laughs> Boy, I don't sound it. I guess I'll always be a Bostonian no matter where I live. Two things really suck in Missouri. One is Dunkin' Donuts. Found a Dunkin' Donuts today nine miles from my house. I was psyched. Just, oh, baby. Dunkin' Donuts. I'll go there. Every now and then take a break. You know, I live right off the highway. It's 10 minutes down the road. I go there. I order large coffee, light, two sugars. They don't know what the hell you're talking about, light, okay? 
Extra cream, please. All right. I get the coffee. It sucked. So, here's the moral of that story. If you're driving across I-70 and you're coming over, I've gone as far west as Indiana, got Dunkin' Donuts, and it was excellent. So if you're coming this way on I-70, stop, get a couple of, uh, of uh, lady, what do you got? Get a couple of uh, uh, dozen donuts and some coffee, because once you get here, you're doomed, okay? So that's that. The other thing that really sucks in Missouri, all due respect, are Missouri drivers. No clue about uh, the rules of the road and... Um, being courteous. Now, I know that sounds nuts coming from a guy from Massachusetts. You always say, oh, Massachusetts drivers are the worst, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I say bullshit to that. I've driven all over the country. Mass drivers are pretty good. See, here, they don't know how to merge on the highway, so you're worried about them hitting you. That's because they don't know how to drive. In Mass, when they're coming in and they don't want to merge and they just take it, you don't have to worry about getting hit. They know what they're doing. They're just knocking you out of the way. But of course, then you know enough to get out of the way. But here, you come up to an intersection, in Mass, or anyway, in Mass, I would come up to an intersection, I get there first, regardless, the other guy is going to let me go that's coming down. And I'm going to do the same. You do that here, you pull up, the other guy's already there, you, you wave him, he looks at you like you got three heads, you keep waving and waving and waving, he never wants to go. Why? Because usually they're just going to come down and they'll ram right into you. So... World's coming to an end. Don't if you drive out here, don't worry about being courteous. Just hang on to your hat and give it a gas. Kind of like the teak used to do. <laughs> anyway, this is your old pal Cadillac Joe D. I gotta get going, man. I'm busy and one on paper hanging going to St. Louis tomorrow. I got a pack, I got paperwork to do. Dogs are barking out back. It's crazy. I'm moving, I'm grooving, I don't know what to do. So I know what I am gonna do. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Spay and new to the pets. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping. Always glad to see you. Cadillac Joe D. signing out till tomorrow on location, St. Louis, Missouri, baby.